In this awesome After Effects tutorial, we're gonna talk about creating two textured compositions that are connected together using a card wipe transition. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So this is one of these tutorials that I absolutely love doing because not only is this talking about one specific technique, which is the card wipe transition between two scenes, we are also talking about graphic design and motion graphics. So this tutorial is great for connecting two compositions together. For example, like you have a logo on one side and then it transitions over to like a contact screen or a slogan or what have you. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and let's get started. All right, so we have After Effects loaded up, and before we get into the card wipe transition between two scenes, I'm gonna talk about compositing a scene together. So here we are in our main composition. I already have our background texture loaded here. We already have a title animation, and I just threw in my logo just for fun. So this is essentially our scene with the placement already done. And so when I'm working with a background, which I think is absolutely necessary for this technique, for the card wipe technique to look good, um, I wanna make sure that the titles and any other graphics blend well with the entire scene and as you see this texture is a little too hot so when you're going to do the card wipe effect and you want to be able to blend down the background what you need to do is go to effect color correction and curves and you want to curve this down if you do it any other method I found that the card wipe effect is a little bit tough to work with and our graphics are blending really well together also another technique what we can do is come here to the blend mode right over here and set it to overlay and then we can just duplicate our title by going up to edit duplicate and then we do it for our logo as well and any other graphics and that is a really cool custom scene if you want to learn more about typography and layout we made several tutorials in the past i'll drop those links in the video description if you want to watch more on typography and layout one other thing i like to add to my scenes is adding shape elements to help spruce things up and this is from a action motion graphic pack called toka which has over 1300 elements that you can add into any after effects project and within a click of a button, I'm able to add these accent motion graphics to our scene. All right, so when our composition is done, what we need to do is select everything and go up to layer pre-compose and we'll call it placeholder one. Click OK. So now we can work on our second scene, which I'll bring in over here because I already have this done. And simply now we have two scenes ready for the card wipe transition to work. So we'll put placeholder one over placeholder two. So we have two of our compositions here. And then we'll go up to layer new adjustment layer go to effect transition and we're gonna add card wipe all right so now we have this really cool transition going on here and you know that's all cool what we need to do is set the back layer to our second placeholder which is layer three in my case and we'll come here to three seconds in our timeline and we'll set the transition completion down to zero percent we'll add a keyframe for transition completion move to maybe like five seconds and set the transition completion up to 100%. And now with our card wipe animation in really low quality, you can see that one slide transitions over to the other slide. And that's how this effect is done, but we really wanna be able to customize this and really work on the transparency in the background, this black space that we see. So we're gonna work on this effect a little bit more in depth. And since we're using a wood type texture, we can break this apart as if you know the wood is breaking apart. So what we can do here is lower down the number of rows. So we can bring it down to like three or something or four. Uh, and then you can lower down the number of columns. Maybe we'll just go to like two columns. So, you know, perhaps we'll do eight, you know, rows and three columns and that's cool. Then we can come here to the time randomness and set it up to one. And this is just gonna offset everything and it's gonna be taking place in random time rather than in sequential order. And now with our card wipe technique, we're able to transition over to our next scene. And that's really cool. And we're doing this in a nice random order and you have full control over you know, rows and columns. And so I suggest taking a look at that. Now, the problem with this is that you can see there's a black space you know, behind our composition, which is just transparency. And we need to you know, kind of work on that unless you like the transparency it's up to you but what I like to do is bring in like another similar texture of our scene that's why you know kind of walk through the first placeholder a little bit what I like to do is pre-compose our scene by going to layer pre-compose and we can just call it card wipe then I can bring in one of our textures that we are using we're using a wooden texture that's why I kind of talked about the design of the scene before we got into the card wipe effect and bringing this in here underneath our card wipe we can see that this will cover up the background now the problem is you know it's a little bit too bright so one thing we can do is just hit t on our keyboard for opacity and we can lower the opacity of this background here turn off the transparency and now we kind of just have this you know wooden texture in there just by default that kind of covers up the black areas and it kind of keeps the entire scene you know intact and one thing we want to do is move our second composition over to the first keyframe here 
In this way, you know, your composition will start from the beginning. All right, so when it's all said and done, we have our two compositions nicely composited and we have the card wipe transition revealing on the next composition. So this is a really cool tutorial and of course all these graphics that were created in this tutorial came from our Toco extension inside of After Effects. Like I said, it has the 1350 motion graphic elements that you can drag and drop into any After Effects composition, which ranges from typography, shape elements, gradients, titles, lower thirds, infographics, devices, and logo reveals, and so much more. So if you want to check Toko out, you can check our links in the video description. It'll take you right over to the 1350 motion graphics where you can check out everything. So boom, there is our tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description and always be creating.